All right, what's up guys? Um, I just finished drawing this capybara. Um, actually, I drew a bunch of cute capybaras. And um, I was chatting with my nephew yesterday and he is obsessed with capybaras, which I understand because I too had, well, I guess everyone has animals that they are obsessed with when they're younger. Um, I am no longer young, but I still have animals that I'm obsessed with, reptiles. Turtles was my my all-time favorite, um, but I still love frogs, turtles, uh, salamanders, newts. I love all that stuff. Um, but I, I drew one capybara a long while ago, so this was, you know, they have really interesting faces, and so it's it a bit of a challenge to sort of figure out how to characterize it, but I guess it's kind of like that with every animal. But this is the tough thing about uh, character design and, um, you know, sketching characters, especially for, like, books or, um, you know, specific character designs where this is going to be, like, your character. Like, it's not easy to make them charismatic and cute and anthropomorphized enough to where they still look like the animal, but they still are relatable and uh, have expressions. So it is a challenge, and I think this probably took me... It probably took me like a few hours. Um, I put together a lot of these little clips to to make into make into a drawing. Uh, usually, I I finish drawing and then I start working on it again, and then I'm like, oh, well, I guess I should record it. Um, usually, I do the lives, but sometimes it's nice to draw because then I get the 4K, uh, the sweet, nice 4K that I'm uh, obsessed with. Uh, it's unfortunate that like the lives don't really get that high quality, but they're much better than they were before. But um, but this guy is looking looking pretty cute. Every time I get to this point, I always want to change it. So you'll see that I sort of go through some changes to him, like his eyes. Like I always get to a point once I can see him in color, I just see it a little bit differently, and I can see things a little clearer. Um, so then I go I have to go back into it and and make changes. And for some reason, I always make just change after change after change. Um, and I wind up always working for extra half an hour. It turns into an hour. I was up last night and I did a live. I did some preliminary capybara sketches early in the morning at like 5 something a.m. Or no, it was 4 a.m. And, uh, um, but I love it. You know, I had some other stuff to do. I was getting the 3D uh, alligator guy I was getting him all like finished and worked out and that was a lot of video you know even this took me a fraction of the time but it's still a lot of video so I felt like his expression even though capybaras are really cute they just have that like they have that expression and I feel like that's very important to give them the proper expression that they all kind of have uh, and I, I still think he's cute um, so I think that was the right decision there to give him his, like, those slanted eyes that they always have. And shout out to, let's see if I can find the, um, the Instagram account, KYMC underscore official. Shout out to KYMC underscore official um, for that, this copy bar that I was basically, like, referencing you know, just getting the shapes right and stuff like that. But they are, they are, they too are obviously a capybara uh, lover. A capybara enthusiast probably sounds better. Um, and here I'm just sort of making changes, seeing if there's like a different sort of like mouth and lips that I want to make. Um, and that's one of my favorite parts. You get to a certain place, and I think I like everything, but I like to see, I like to make sure that there's nothing that I don't like something better. Um, otherwise, it'll just eat at me and I won't be able to do anything else. I'll just want to, like, practice and, you know, make sure that it, that it looks as good as I think it can look. And this is me just checking, checking the mouths. And, yeah, I definitely like this one the best. So, yeah, that's King Copy for my nephew Jared. Holla. Holla. 
Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Drug Free Dave. And don't forget to join my private Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. Check me out on Facebook. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. And as always, keep drawing and I'll see you in the next video.